Okay. We have steeled ourselves for... What, you know what? You know, I don't know what we even had to steal ourselves for. I'm sure nothing bad is going to happen. Nothing bad is going to happen at all. Um, uh, but we have a crank now. And that is what we needed to put here. And so now we will crank it. We will crank it in and the puppet go. studio. And everything is... Oh. You, you okay there? Well, Gordon, we good? Back up that way. I would, uh, I would assume not. Oh boy, where are we? We are causing, we are doing damage. We are doing damaging public property. Um, that is locked from the other side. Good to know. We don't know where we are. Some kind of sewer for a man named Ray. Oh, dear. oh. oh my. Oh, hey, Ricky. To be stranded in the basement. How do I get out of here? <clears throat> stranded is a, a strong world. Why? What's got your overalls in a knot? I, I don't know. To get to the I don't know, Ricky. The roof? <laughs> What's so interesting about the roof? My job. Much more intriguingly musty. I will give you that. It is intriguingly Unrelated. musty. How do you feel about blood force head trauma? What I, is it this time? I don't know. enjoy it. Ray, of course. He's the best sort of monster janitor thing. But he's a little obsessed with uh, <clears throat> organic maintenance. Organic maintenance. Pop out of pipes and clobber people with his wrench. Great. Are all of you puppets crazy? Well, Ray has always been a little grouchy, even before the shutdown. That's why they moved him down here. Only way out is by elevator, and he can't figure out how to use the buttons. You oh, know what? Ingenious oh, solutions. Me. I forgot about the elevators. Really, Gordon, I wouldn't bother. The cables are probably rusted. I don't think they even run anymore. Well, I'm not staying down here. Chances. Wow, you're so courageous and stuff. Look, I gotta go... Wash my hair. Hairs? Like your five hairs that you have? What does that even look like? Alright, well, we've got... God. We have so much ammo. God, we have so much ammo. Uh, boy. What's over here? A door, you say? A newspaper? <gasps> War is over? The City Tribune. Friday, February 4th, 1972. War is over. After 20 years of fighting, the city government has finally declared a complete withdrawal of troops from the northern continent. Oh, my favorite continent, the northern one. Called the War of Horrors. All war is horror. Uh, called the War of Horrors, the conflict which mainly involved guerrilla confrontations in the rainforest in the northern continent... Okay. Resulted in almost 100,000 casualties. That is a lot. Unlike previous homecomings, veterans returning to the city's main docks were booed and hissed, reflecting the negative attitudes of many adults towards those who volunteered to serve in the war, hoping to protect their home, but, in the eyes of the public, helping to perpetrate these horrors. The Northern War has also been called the first war fought in the living room, due to the televised newsreels that kept civilians at home up to date with events overseas. I wonder... If that will matter. Is that pertinent? I, I guess we'll find out. Oh god. Well, we don't have a map yet. So this is terrifying. What's in here? Can we open? Can we open? The, no, no, that's openable. What about this? Hmm. What is he? Oh boy. What is in this room? Every time I come down into a new area, I just feel like so distraught. What new horrors await me? Well, nothing in here, I guess. 
that is locked from the other side. Okay, so this is an area that we come to from later, I guess. Is this a save room? No? No, not a save room. Oop, more ammo. No, that's nothing. Shells that for a thing we don't have. As if on cue, we have now found the novelist. Let's get writing. We have, I guess this is a shotgun. Oh, man, do we have a lot of stuff. Hank's inventor diary. I was hanging around the office last night to keep the pipes from freezing, so I had the time to work out the kinks on my latest project. The output is pretty flashy, but it uses up a lot of lettuce, so I'll need to conserve ammo. Thanks, Hank. Hank's pills are over here. I wish we knew whether or not we had, uh... We have 95 ammo on the, on our on our gun here. That's far too much ammo. Far too much. I'm not super concerned about this boy. That is locked. Oh, good. He does not give a single shit. We have four of these. We're gonna tape one of them. He is not annoying. I hear a rat. <gasps> Are you a rat? Hold on. Hold on. I need to, I need to see the rat. You know I have to see the rat. Can I not adjust? I can't. No! Why won't you show me the boy? Huh. Some kind of locker room. What do we got here? Puppet, Puppet's Pirate's Cove, a triumph for the family. <laughs> no parody of Muppet Treasure Island, I think. The City Tribune, Thursday, August 16th, 1973. Puppet's Pirate's Cove, a triumph for the family by Richard Lightsbury. Four out of five stars. Well, as the My Friendly Neighborhood franchise grows, it was inevitable for Gerswold's precocious puppets to make the move to the big screen. Fortunately, their first outing is appealing to more than just the younger crowd. Everything from the sumptuous sets to the scintillating score bring the swashbuckling spirit into the theater in a way that both children and adults can appreciate. The plot centers around a young lad named Clark, Jerry Love of everyone fame, who sets, love, uh, sets sail with the puppets in search of treasure. They soon, however, discover that the terrifying Captain Crocodile is in control of the ship, and it's up to Clark and his plucky sea hand friend, Ricky, too. Doesn't, doesn't matter. Love that there, this is very clearly a joke, uh, very clearly a reference to, uh, Muppet Treasure Island. Okay. Oop, more duct tape. Never punished, apparently. Jeez, we have so much fucking ammo. So much goddamn ammo. We're gonna fire off some of these shots. Before we turn down for what? Uh, good. Okay. I'm sure that's fine. I'm sure everything about that is okay. <sighs> I don't have a key for this. God, fuck. Fuck it, Norman. Ugh, okay, everything's fine. Oh God, your head is clipped through the floor. I hope you're okay. Oh, there's more ammo here. I have far too much ammo. Far too much ammo. When he says, when Leonard, I keep hearing him say squibble, squibble, and I'm like, I think he's saying 
shimmy shimmy cocoa pops. George I just like I just like that. I just like everything about that. That upsets me greatly. Okay, well there's nowhere else to go but in here. So we're gonna do that. <clears throat> and hopefully we'll get a, a map. I've Hey Norman? Hey Norman, fuck off. And stay down. Okay. What's in here? I'm just going to use our ammo because we have so much of it. Uh, looks like it needs power. The plug would seem incomplete, wouldn't it? To all personnel, due to the construction of the new stages, this blast door has been locked using a punch card combination. Please insert the appropriate punch cards into the three terminals to open the door. In the event that you have lost your punch cards, this machine can be used to print replacements. Well, it's a good thing I have lost my punch cards then. Uh, we need to use the machine before we can open the blast door, so we're gonna... This machine uses punch cards. Oh god, we have so much. Is there anything else here? Okay. We are going to... Oh, map. Fantastic. Square equals plus two. Triangle equals minus one. Circle equals plus six. We'll need that later, I assume. Uh, and we are going to... Let's give us a little savey save, I think. Let's, uh... We have no reason to not, at this point, use a save, because we have so many tokens in before another one of these locked boxes okay we're gonna have to come back for that later typical typical video game you're gonna have to come back through later what do you do when you get upset do you let it get you down let me tell you about the time my friend oh, I <laughs> it's a very different very different look here norman shut the fuck up I have a feeling I'm gonna have to come back through here a lot, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna, and you know what? And not, not even punished. Hello, rats. Look at you. You're so cute. Can I hurt you? Nope, I can't hurt the rats. Good. I would have been really upset if the game let me hurt the rats. Uh, cool. So we have cleaned out everything in here. Another rat. A good boy. I wish you could see the look on my face in in real life, because it's just a a real a real uh, oh boy. Oh hello, friend. Are you okay in there? They just hide little puppet boys everywhere. What do we got? Another episode script. This one is working in Ray's workshop. Oh, oh. Jeez, that gave me a scare. How was that? Yeah, what, uh, what actually was that? Was that Ray? Hello? Oh? Oh. Oh god, <laughs> there's so much ammo! Oh, hello, buddy. My little rat friends. My little squeaky boys. I... ooh, boy. I, uh... I don't know if I'm gonna be able to work through all this fast enough. Boy, do I have just a thing for you. <laughs> I do, thank god. Oh, 
shoot. Hello? I come in peace. Oh, hello, Norman. Hey, buddy. Oh, 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 oh no. I need you to not. Oh, that was an upsetting, an upsetting thing to have happen to me. No! <laughs> uh, Eldritch Pop- Oh, he's gone. Oh no, he's good. Everything's fine. Well, we're not taping any of those down because that would be a waste of tape. That was an upsetting amount of whatever that was. Uh, ooh. What is that sound? Hey, Ray? You okay there, bud? No? Okay. Well, you do, um, you are... Okay, I can get him to leave. Oh, good. That's good. That's good to know. I can get him to fuck off. Uh, we're gonna put this up here. Oh, we could probably actually solve this puzzle now. Because this is working again. Alright, so what do we got? Uh, I'm gonna re remember. Hold on, I'm gonna go look at the thing again. So I can remember what each of these means. And I guess maybe also put some... Very good. Uh, plus two for the square, minus one for the triangle, and plus six for the circle. So plus two, minus one, and... Plus six. Okay. Uh, plus two, minus one, plus six. What do we got? Three? Plus two, so square, square, triangle, potentially, here. Try this one. Ah! Excellent. So that one should be good. And uh, this one we want to get to 10. So I'd say probably plus 6 plus 6 minus 2. This one we want to get to 7. So that would be plus six, plus two, minus one. So this one's gonna be circle, circle, triangle, and then this one is going to be circle, square, triangle. Circle, circle, triangle. Let's go ahead and turn that one in to make sure we got it right. Simple, simple addition and subtraction. Don't have to be worried. Everything should be fine now. Everything should be great. Uh, oh, did we mess that one up? Oh, no, we did mess that one up because the triangle is uh, only minus one. Oh, so it would be this then would be, sorry, this one, the second one should be um, uh, circle, square, square. Sorry, that one should be circle, square, square. Because we wanted to be plus six, plus two, plus two. There we go. And then this one again, we want circle, square, triangle. And that should be it. That should, in fact, be it.
plus two, minus one. And yay, the blast door has been unlocked. The best day. Wow. Wonder how deep this goes. Why is there a whole like mining operation underneath the puppet studio? Wow. How deep does this rabbit hole go? I mean, mole hole, probably. If we're using a mining analogy. This. Uh, uh, my name's Norman. Uh -huh, I sound like this. Uh -huh. Oh boy. Um, okay. Wow, we actually managed to get through that without much of a problem, huh? I like that we can move through here without too much of an issue. There's nothing in here. Oh, well, no, there is definitely something in here. But the question is... What is it? Oh, it's probably this. Whatever thing that is that we cannot open. And this. Woo! This brings us to a boat. And nothing else. Uh, I think the boat brings us back. Oh yeah, it brings us back to that door over on the other side. Cool. Well, there's no reason for us to go back yet. Forward, onward and upward, I say. Uh, yeah, it seems like there is a door on the other side of this. And we will go inside of it. Um, this is a, uh, is everything okay? This is quite the, sh the, uh, oh, well, we don't have the triangle key yet. It's Ray's lair. We're not going to go in there. Uh, then that leaves this way, which is going to lead us to a save room. Good timing. Because I would say that we are just about... We are just about done, probably. God, more ammo, huh? What else do we got in here? There's actually nothing. But we did find... We don't really need to do anything else, so uh, I guess we can check to see if there was anything that got left behind in here that we care about, and I don't th think so. Let's check and see what's in this hallway before we do anything else. Can we open that? We can. That's a horrifying sight. And this must be... Did you... I swear, every... F I just keep finding more and more ammo. Maybe I should have played this game on a harder difficulty. I feel like it's very generous on normal. Is there anything... No. Okay, so this is just what leads down back into this room. We will probably want to take one or two of those out if we're going to be going through there a lot. I'm not sure how much we will be backtracking. I assume at some point we will need to because of these keys, these locked boxes, but 
You got something for me, bud? No? You got a you got a dead Norman here? That's what it looks like. Locked with an electric. Hello? Strange kind of breaker box. And what exactly about it is strange? Uh, to everyone. Someone keeps taking the breakers you use to open these doors, so I put them in these lock boxes around the basement. Here's a map of where they are in case you need to get through. Janitor Hank. It's Ray. It's Ray. Everybody. Everybody knows it's Ray. Everybody hates Ray. Oh, good. It, it actually did map them on my, on my map. That's actually very helpful. Um, so we get this one. So this is the one that goes in the third slot, it seems. Is there something else? Oh no, it's just the inspect the shelf. Well, while we're here, I don't want to have to keep holding this stuff in my inventory. Can I open this? More duct tape, you say? That one goes in the third slot. Wait. Files is up on the control pad. Sewers, we found... The yeah, part goes in the third slot. Okay, I thought it might try to confuse me. Thought it might try to confuse me. And then back into here we go. Let me take one last look at my... We should have, we have enough room for all three of them. There's gonna be more. There will absolutely be more. There always is. So what we're gonna do is, oh, pick up this letter to the editor. Okay. And on that, and on that note, uh, we're gonna save. And we're going to leave it at that. Uh, thank you so much for joining me in this first session of, uh, my friendly neighborhood we've got uh three more of these breaker boxes i think to uh to go to and uh get these fuses and once we get those we will be able to get to the soundstage basement which i think it looks like there might be some sort of elevator there try and find a key at some point uh, but for the time being our plan is get these breaker boxes probably use the boat go back and then uh and then yeah we'll go from there but thank you again for joining me and uh i hope you'll join me next time see ya